Hi and welcome. So not so long ago, just call me Copo released this Flipper Zero BFFB. Um, I'm not really sure I should say what it this could stand for, but something like big F. Flipper zero board. I guess that is the what it stands for. Anyways, he talks about this is a do it all solution for the Flipper zero, featuring the CC eleven oh one RF twenty four ESP thirty two and some sub gigahertz and everything you need for Wi Fi stuff. And the key features are listed just right here. Even got a micro SD expansion. And so he reads like the, the BFFB attached to a Flipper Zero GPIO expansion, allowing additional 2.4 gigahertz capability, such as a Wi Fi and Bluetooth run. The most opposite version of Marauder firmware using the Flipper based apps like Mouse Jagger and NRF24 scanner, in addition to the 2.4 gigahertz module, the dual CC1100 radios allow the user to connect their own sub gigahertz amplifiers for increased range. The board is programmable through either the Flipper Zero UART USB bridge or mode or through its USB-C port. The onboard power management allows the board to run USB-C, Flipper 5 version 5 or the Flipper 3 time 3 and including the box is this kind of thing we already talked about, and this is the actual imagery. I think this is, this is the original image, and when we look at it, it um, it does look pretty wild, right? So you got a, so a, a, a wide variety of antennas and, and stuff like that on it, and I get it that you can almost see that the GPY pins are Really, not really made for this kind of weight. It, it it carries on the flipper, so you need to hold, you know, the the board and the flipper itself. And I would be, I think it's a good idea if you, you know, just call me Coco guy. You actually develop some sort of, you know, stand, three D printed stand that you know was fitting the flipper zero, so you you could take the 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 flipper zero itself and just put it in some casing that would hold the hold board up because it, it does seem like a lot of weight and if it if it snaps or something like that you know it's really bad for, because most people that buy this stuff have no idea what's going on behind this the scene right they couldn't fix it they they never you know sorted anything before and and that's probably one of the issues this kind of board will have in my eyes is going to be the uh durability of it and the pretty nice images of it with the long antennas and yeah, you know, I, I I've seen these kind of expansions for the Flipper Zero before, but I think this is <laughs> kind of interesting. So let's let's talk about what this is all about. Now we have the the dual CC eleven oh zero radio modules. So the, these two radio modules allow the Flipper Zero, the BFFB, to communicate using sub gigahertz frequencies, which are commonly used to remote control garage doors, key fobs, and other low frequency devices. The dual setup means that it can run two different sub gigahertz operations simultaneously or connect external amplifiers to boost the range. Well, that is great. Then we do have a NRF 24L00 plus with power and low noise amplifiers. The provides you know, a 2.4 gigahertz wireless communication, which is useful for things like Wi-Fi and data transfer networking and device control and so on. It does mean that you can, you know, intercept signals that are, you know, weaker and you can send a stronger signal. But, you know, the longer you receive a signal from, it can be diminished in a certain way. So maybe you cannot catch that kind of signal. Also, a GPS module uh, provides geolocation capabilities. We can track your location. Oh, then the flip a zero for navigation purposes. Um, yeah, so location stuff is always a thing that's going to be valuable in some way. Got a micro SD expansion slot, you know, it can add some extra storage for the flipper. 
uh, for firmware apps and so on. So that's also great. Multiple power options. So you can put in five volt. Uh, I said version earlier, but I must just tired, I guess. Five volt output or a 3.3 volt output. Uh, it's a more flexible option, but yeah. Also, you have the board as a programmable board through USB, a UI USB bridge. Um, so you can run scripts and customize the functionality. Now, if you are on that kind of level, I would probably ask if this unit is the right for you, then maybe just go Linux with an alpha card. You know, really, that would be the way to go. And the two talk about compatibility with flipper based apps and firmware, and that's really great. So what we have here is a basically an extension board, you know, put in your flipper zero and it costs, you know, uh, around $140. So it's, it's kind of pricey, kind of pricey, around the same price as the flipper zero. And I think, um, I think it's quite funny to see these kind of devices out there, right? So you have you know, this thing you can run around. It is pretty easy to see that you have something going on. It will definitely, you know, make people look because they literally have no idea what's going on. So let's talk about the the the, the applications for this, right? So why why is all this interesting or is it at all? You know, I, I earlier did um, express my... Uh, we could say feelings towards the flipper zero was it actually obsolete or not is it a unit that can still be used in some way and i talked about that this is a good thing for you know proving something like a proof of concept but actual doing real hacking with it you know for real i would not do that with a flipper zero because it's not powerful enough it is too slow and in all honesty you know it's too little and bulky and you cannot really you don't have any control of it it's it's, it's like a click click functionality type of thing and those kind of gadgets are not bad not saying that but it's still click click kind of functionality thing it's for script kiddies and in most occasions i i think it's great but if you can program it yourself it, it's just like saying that you have the um the m5 stack you can Click that. You have the the smaller one here, the 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 M5 stick. The smaller you can click that. You know, it will kind of result in the same thing. You know, um, but in all honesty, I I feel that it, it's just maybe getting a top. You know, or what I feel is the right thing to have. Right. Um, so, um, so would I buy it? You know, I, 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 I will not buy it because I think it's, um, you know, let's talk about it. So you got all the radio modules and so on. Um, I already have the crazy radio antenna for uh, mouse jacking and so on, which is great enough. It works. Mouse can also be achieved using the flipper zero, but it's just not uh, the same thing, you know. And I, if you don't understand what I mean, I could probably extend it by saying if you have full control over a operating system and how you do things with scripts at hand, you know, you cannot really do that in the flipper. It's like a thing you transfer things on, and it's like a click click gadget, and then you have to use whatever arsenal you have right and you cannot really do anything with the connection on a flavor it's like again more like a proof concept device and it's great for that you know it looks scary i understand that but my personal opinion is is it's it, it is more gadget than an actual hacking device you know if you have another opinion about that you know feel free to Leave a comment below. I'm not really sure if I'm going to come back on this kind of thing because I already stated what I feel about it. I, I definitely like the flipper zero. It's a great thing. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what will, you know, be shipped. But at the end of the day, the flipper zero itself will never exceed its own functionality. And you can put stuff in it and you can extend the range. You can 
you know, boost the signal. But at the end of the day, that's really what you're going to get. All right. So <clears throat> hacking Wi-Fi and all this kind of thing and blue Bluetooth, what is also talked about. You know, Bluetooth is great, but it's, it's just a topic that is not really that interesting uh, to talk about um, because it, it doesn't really... You can do some fuzzing and maybe detection and stuff, and maybe some of them have some vulnerabilities, but it still requires a lot of software and Arsenal installation on the Flipper Zero where you can click, click, gadget, you know, initialize it. And that's really what I emphasize a bit more, I think, in the videos here and further out. GPS module, you know, a great thing, but I... Yeah, it's a thing that's great, but I, I don't really see a application for it in cybersecurity, so I'm gonna skip that. Micro SD expansion slot is great, you know, you get more scripts for your arsenal, and that's always a great thing when you have a click click gadget, because then you really need this kind of flexibility. That is programmable and all that on that good stuff is great, but I say that maybe one in a thousand that buy this and only think a thousand will buy it just to be honest will do it i don't really think more than one out of a thousand will actually sit down and do the programmable stuff on it people just rely on oh, i want the functionality as it, as it is and most people don't even know how to do firmware installation so it's really up to how well does it work out of the box and this is what i also talked about with the Marauder, I have the ESP32 Marauder right here with the antenna, right? You have this one here. It's a touch display. It works really great, you know, that I, I did actually do some presentations with it and it, it worked well. People understood what this is all about. And I, I, and I still think it's a, it's a great handheld gadget to have, but in all honesty, you know, like real hacking is not done with handheld devices. It's more like annoyance and teasing and, you know, Boys, girls having fun in a shopping center, maybe, or you know, these kind of things, you know. Until we see real devices, you know, taking cars as hostages and so on, uh, we're not really on the edge of that right now. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna rate it then in here in the video and say it's a great device, you know, just call me Coco. I'm, I'm by all means saying it's a really good job with the flipper zero of the extension you took it to the limit i say you can probably even take it longer uh even further you can say um but it's just also a thing that's been you know there for already a while so this is just an extension on an extension you already have the things just on different boards and i think it's great to see one board with everything but again the flipper zero can still only run one app at a time um and it's slow it, that's really the biggest case for the flipper sure it's really slow but yeah it sounds like i don't like it i do like it and i do have also have a flipper zero myself just want to show that and i also have different kind of you know module for it i can put on to test the rf signal and you know do mouse jacking and stuff but i also did mouse jacking with the crazy radio which in essence work better but it's probably easier on a flipper zero if you have zero technical expertise all right so i think for this video i'm gonna say really hope you enjoyed it and this view on it that i had not just saying oh i eat everything raw because i do not eat everything raw when it comes to the flipper zero i do put myself into a situation where i say is this really something that's gonna move the industry of cyber security and it is not it is a fun gadget. It is very interesting to see what technology can do. It's a good thing for show off and for awareness. And for that purpose, I would definitely recruit the Flipper Zero. I definitely recruit this board from Just Call Me Coco. So I want to say thank you one more time for watching this video. If any direct questions to me about requests and so on, you know, please don't uh, hesitate to just make a comment below. Uh, I'm going to try and respond as much as I can. So have a nice day and see you again online.